Hello, Libra. I hope you're having a wonderful month already. But let's see what we got for you. My name is Jade. I am the Violet Sage, and I'm here to bring to you the Zodiac Horoscope for your sign. This is based on your sun sign, and you have many different things to um, consider. Rising signs, moon signs, other things that are going on in the planets, the planetary shifts and alignments, and many other things. And especially if you're born on the cusp, then that's a few days before, a few days after. That can greatly shift your reading, and especially your rising signs really, really shift your readings as well. So you may have more than one sign that resonates with you. So please check on the signs and see what feels good to you, sounds right to you. And the best thing to do is to go ahead and get an astrology chart done. It is more accurate when you know exactly what time that you were born, but all the same, it will work for you. Okay, so on to your Zodiac horoscope reading. So we have here today, I've already pulled a few cards. And I'm going to have to try to talk fast because I've a lot of cards decided to come out for you today. So we have angel space clearing. So you need to clear your space and clear your space in your mind as well. It is time to clear old negative thoughts. I have, I'm having lighting issues as it's getting dark outside. All negative thoughts and feelings. So what have you been holding on to? You cannot hold on to things because, you know, you're one of those people who's like a good crafter, craftsmanship. Uh, you really generate what you think and what you feel. So you have to be extra careful. But it feels that like somebody could have even been in your space that was very negative, And then you're wondering why you feel off balance, off kilter. You can... Go ahead and smudge your space. It feels like you can use a space clearing. So go on and do that. You'll find out that that may greatly help you. Then you also got goddess of nature. You reap what you sow. Your dream is coming to fruition. So things are panning out. It has not been a waste of time. I know with all this downtime, that doesn't mean anything. Economy will go up again. At least it will for you. <laughs> so we have that. So things are working out in your favor in those aspects here. But you have a lot of other interesting things that are coming up. So you have the good with the bad. So I don't know if the bad or negative energy that maybe someone else has left behind um, affected you or your progress or the energy that you're putting out there. So you may want to make sure you go through and do a little cleansing and clearing just the same. It seems very much needed. Uh, you have the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is reversed in this card. So it is the power, the power to manifest, the power to heal, the power to send out um, prayers, energy, work development, things of this sort. I really feel that you are working towards a goal, but why do I feel like, I don't know, all of you or some of you, you're like stumbling and falling. You feel like you got so far and then you had to pick yourself back up again and start over again. Um, I feel like there's some extra work that may be required of you, but they're giving me the words an assurance, an assurance that things are going to muster. They're, they're going to come up. If you don't get out of your head, things will fester. You, you are right on a cusp of making a decision right now. So is, are you going to thrive? Are you going to work with it? Is it going to go good for you? Or is it going to go the other way around? So you really are going to have to focus on this. Because we do have the fool. And the fool is on this journey. The fool always means that there's an adventure ahead. So whatever choices you're making, even if it doesn't turn out right, it is a rerouting opportunity. Things will turn out for the better in some form. I'm just going to warn you now, my one dog is already growling like they hear something. Um, so I apologize if my dog starts to bark. I don't have a pause button here and I've been trying to edit other things and it did not work. All right, so the Fool card. I'm getting from this card. This is like your magical moment. I feel like all the things are lining up right. They're ripe for the reaping. So 
you're, you're putting the right energy out there, put the right foot forward, and you're going to make an impression on the right people, make an impression on your life. I feel like it's going in the right direction, but then we have the death and rebirth card. So death card does not necessarily mean something bad, but I feel that the old is finally giving away to the new. So even if it is a maybe relationship or a job, a vehicle, or something that you've had to move on from, a home, this is a rerouting opportunity for you. So new things are happening and shifting, but it does feel that it's necessary that the old leaves first. There's not room for both in your life right now because you're a hard worker and you're already focusing on too many things. So you can't focus on too many things and expect the, the, the good outcome for things to be strong. Now here you got all kinds of cards. I normally only pull maybe two of these and you got four. All right. So if there has been a question that's really been pressing on your mind, I actually got the no card. So it could mean that things just are not exactly right just yet. Or you may get some of what you want and not all of what you want because you cannot focus on more than three things at a time. Your energy is essential to the growth of something you are manifesting. So it's really important that you stick to that right now. Say your manifestations, say your prayers, utilize the time, utilize the prospects, utilize what it is that you have in the making of your will, the making of your life. Then we have, it's kind of like the death and rebirth card in the other deck, destruction. There's things that need to fall away first. So like an undoing. And this is bringing me, they're telling me, they're talking about foundations now. So things that were in your life before that aren't working anymore, they need to be torn down and start over. Again, it could be relationships. It could be homes, a job. Oh, I really feel like relationships, friendships are really important right now. Even partnerships, partnerships and jobs, any kind. Feels like there's a destruction first. Oh my goodness. You have all this, you got the death card. So you got the death and rebirth, like in triplicate here. So, and it could, death could actually mean that there's a death of a loved one. Um, and it could be something that, you know, this sounds really weird, but it could be something that's been long awaited, like someone who's been suffering from a long illness and you just don't want them to suffer anymore. Um, yeah. Why do I feel like they're holding on to something you need? Um, I don't know if that means like a beneficiary thing or a goal or desire. I don't know, but there is definitely a peeling away that needs to be taken place for all this new stuff to happen. And it just goes right to, and it's funny, it goes to the month of September, your, most of your birth months. I mean, some of you were in September, some in, our, or in October. But it feels like whatever is meant to be, it's almost like going to be like a birthday gift for you. All your hard work, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. But there is some work that needs to be done in your part first. All right, Spirit, for our Libra, 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 what's some for Libra for the month of March? All right, month of March here is we got love. So love is turning a new leaf here. We love. There's a many splendor thing. That's a more. And the other side is love. So new love can be coming into your life. Uh, like I said, though, it feels like the peeling away. Maybe there's a divorce that needs to happen first. Uh, it could be something you love, not someone that you love. And then you also have, this is a keychain, and it's a makeup keychain. So the keychains in the cells are keys. And it's like you you know what you need to do. And in order to fake yourself out to be the person you want to be, you may have to pretend to be that person. So it's being someone you're not because it gets you out of your shell. It gets you out of that corner that you've locked yourself into. 
especially with all the peeling away, you've kind of gotten shy. Maybe you've went within kind of like the cancers do. Um, but in order to be brave or even if you're going for like a job interview, you may have to pretend that, oh, yeah, I know that job. I know I can do that job, even if inside you're going, oh, my God, I hope I can do that job. So you're, you may have to pretend to be something that you're not or mask something, ma mask something up a little bit just to get through it. Um, but ultimately, you're going to get someone or something that you love out of this, out of doing and practicing this. Uh, that's an interesting reading we have here for you. All right, so a stone, a stone here, spirit. We need a stone for Libra. Ooh. All right, I'm in more <laughs> a different stone. <laughs> we need one that you can actually probably obtain. <clears throat> you got all kinds of cards that really want to jump out here at you. You got Angelite too, but I'm not even going to pull that one up because I already got two. Zincite is one of them. That's the physical body, the root chakra. You might be going a little sexually crazy there. If all your creative energies are locked away, locked up in that bottom base chakra, they're not flowing properly. You have to visualize all that red and a big ball and zooming out all the way up through your head. And it'll help to clear the way for that nice creativity and the new to take place. Because the love, real the love light, you need that love light. And also the fuchsia, you got the fuchsia. So again, we're talking with healing and the heart chakra. So between the, the base, the, the, the sex and, and uh, creative organ here going up to the heart chakra. So there's some healing that needs to take place. So you got the red and the green. I'm going to go ahead and ask um, Google what they think about this. One minute. Okay. So get back. Ooh, went too far. Sorry. What are the metaphysical properties of zinc site? Mm. Okay. What are the metaphysical properties of zincite? According to Raven Crystals, Zincite resonates with the lower chakras, re-energizing the whole body, stimulating creativity and fertility. Zincite assists with the rise of kundalini energy and enhances gut instincts and intuition. Zincite instills confidence and the ability to find your own strength. Sounds right to me. Okay. What are the metaphysical properties of fuchsite? <laughs> no. What are the metaphysical properties of fuchsite? According to Charms of Light, fuchsite helps to overcome codependency and aids in a speedy recovery from trauma, both emotionally and physically. Fuchsite increases the energy of other crystals and helps in the transfer of their energy. It shifts energy into positive channels, therefore releasing blockages caused by excess energy. You have a very emotional month coming up here, Libra. There's a lot of shifting, a lot of peeling away. But, you know, some people are actually happy that the ending of something is coming. Because it could be the ending of your suffering in some way or an ending in... Maybe a therapy that you've been going through and then finally the results are due. You know, it, it's... Could be a very good thing, but it definitely still feels like it's taken an emotional toll on you. So if you can go ahead and maybe invest in some of these stones that may and carry them with you, it may greatly help you get through that transition. All right. Um, I'm really hoping that this helped you in some form today. And if you like these readings and are accurate and right on, we'd really, really appreciate it if you like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you get notified when we are on again, because I do do some pop-ups in the middle of the week. And I do every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Central Time. 
And I do uh, readings for the week and I do some personal readings right online. So you can get in there and uh, ask for a message. If you give a donation, I'll give you like a good 10 minute reading while we're while I'm online. And if you would like a personal reading, you can go ahead and contact me here at the Violet Sage at AOL.com. Um, or you can even text 1-608-477-2192. I do have WhatsApp. For, I know a lot of people out of the country like to use that. I've done uh, many readings for people that way as well. So and if you would like to donate, which we greatly appreciate here, you can use Google Pay, Cash App, PayPal, Square, and Zelly. Zelly is connected to most people's bank account. Google Pay and Cash App only take like a minute or two to set up. Especially if you have a cell phone, which most people do, you already have a Google Pay account. So basically, you just got to want to tell them that you want to sign up with Google Pay and it's done in like a minute. And you can send the money to the Violet Sage at AOL.com or the number 608 477 2192. And if you're using Cash App, you can use the dollar sign, the Violet Sage. And if you would like to book a private reading, you can write me and just put reading in the subject line because I get so much junk mail all the time that it's hard for me to decipher and get to my real mail instead of all the junk mail. All right, with much love and light to you all, and I hope this has been a help, and I'm sorry that we have some good and bad mixture of news for you this month but it's better to get it over with because once you clear the old out of the way the new comes rushing in so keep the faith um keep standing your ground keep strong and we will see you next month or maybe sooner if you come and join us on our weekly broadcasts please like subscribe hit the notification bell and share with your friends uh, also on facebook too the Violet Sage or Spiritual Insights. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. A wonderful month. Bye-bye.